Hey what's up everyone, it's Frankie with Meekspace.org. Today I wanted to show you how to install the Watchtower Library uh, iSilo formatted files on your iPad or iPhone. The first thing you need to know is that the regular Watchtower Library CD will not install on your iPad or your iPhone. So you have to have a special formatted version of the Watchtower Library. It's formatted in iSilo iSilo is uh, has an extension PDB and it's an ebook type application and so um, you'll have to download iSilo onto your uh, Apple device you'll just go to the App Store you'll type in iSilo in the top right corner it'll come up with iSilo by DC and company you'll need to pay for that and install it on your device once you've got that installed you'll want to open that uh, application iSilo on your device and in the home directory by clicking the bottom right icon that says device that'll make sure you're at your home directory you'll notice three dots in the top corner you want to click on those three dots and you want to go to the download link you want to choose URL now when you do that it's going to come up with this home page that you see here, the iSilo home page. Now, you're going to need links to the iSilo formatted Watchtower library files. I've included them in the description here in this YouTube uh, tutorial, but if for some reason those links do not work, you'll need to visit meekspace.org. Once you become a member, you can ask for those files and someone will email those links to you. And so, for the sake of this video we're just gonna say we're gonna pretend like they were just emailed to me and so once you get to this point in iSilo where you've got to the uh, enter your uh, URL at the top here you'll double click your home button and go into your uh, email account on your device I'm gonna go into uh, my Gmail account you notice I have uh, an email that I sent to myself with links to these uh, files and you can either take the time to write those down as you see them here on the screen or you can get them uh, you can copy and paste them from the description in this YouTube video and if those links don't work you can visit meekspace.org and request them so I'm gonna just take the first one now actually before I do the the first one it's the biggest file I'm gonna show you uh, how the download process look, looks with the other smaller files. So I'm going to start with the index that's just below uh, the first one there. So I'm just going to put my finger on that and I'm going to copy that URL. I'm going to double click my home button and go back into the iSilo app. Up there at the top I'm going to hold my finger in the address bar and I'm going to paste that link that I just copied. And then I'm just going to in the, the uh, keyboard at the bottom don't hit done at the top but at the very bottom where the keyboards at on the right click the done button it should try to download something from that link if it's a live link now what will happen is it comes up with this dialog box here it wants to know where I want to save that file for now I'm just gonna put it in the downloads folder by clicking on that and then I'm gonna hit the save in the top right corner of that little pop-up now it should download this file fairly quickly because it's not that big. Now if you notice the the status bar says the file's already downloaded, but you notice it's still loading. That's because for whatever reason the download status indicator isn't accurate. What you'll do is you'll just wait for that counter at the bottom to finish. I happen to know that this uh, file here is around 16, 17 megs and so we'll just wait for this file to download so you can see how um, long it takes to do most of these files <clears throat> when you do this you will want to make sure you have a good solid internet connection a good Wi-Fi connection or if you've got 4G make sure you've got a good you know signal before you do this especially the larger file because it's it takes quite a while to download that file so when it's finished it's going to ask you if you want to open up that file um, 
if you click yes it's going to open up that index file and that's what the index file looks like um, in this case with the very bottom we're going to go ahead and click on doc list and you'll see that there we are with our folders again if I was to click on download you should see that file we just downloaded right in there I'm going to hit the little up arrow on the left to go back to the root and at the top right I'm going to go back into our three dots I'm going to go to download I'm going to choose URL now it's going to try downloading the, the file that we just downloaded because that link is already in there so you want to hit cancel we don't want to download that same file again click up there in the address bar and well I hit the back button click up there in the address bar and on the right you'll get an X so you can hit that and erase that that link that's up there so one, I'm glad that happened so you can see if that happens to you you just have to uh, how to get around that. You just want to clear out that link. We've already downloaded the first one. So I'm going to double click my home button. I'm going to go back to my email and now I want to get that third link down there by holding in my finger and copying the link. Double click my home button, go back to iSilo and touch up there in the address bar and choose paste. Now that's our second link. I'm going to go ahead in the bottom right where the keyboard's at I'm going to hit done and it should come up and ask where I'm going to put it so I'm going to put downloads and I'm going to hit save this is the uh, one of the Bibles this is the the New World Translation the revised New World Translation uh, in iSilo format this file I believe is about the same size so we'll just have to wait until it's finished downloading Again, in order to get these links, you'll have to look in the description of this YouTube video. You should see the links there. Uh, however, they do expire after a period of time, and so if they've expired by the time you've, you've come across this video, just visit meekspace.org, and once you become a member there, somebody there, one of the friends there, will help you get the links uh, in your email so you can follow this process that we're doing right here. The speed that these files download is based on, you know, what type of internet connection you have. If you've got a good, solid, strong connection, they'll download pretty quickly. If you've got a weaker connection, it'll take longer. So just be aware of that. Now I just touched somewhere else on the screen to get rid of that because I don't want it to open it up. So that's what you can do if you don't want to open it up and go through this process. Now if you touch the address bar up there, you can hit the X to erase that that link now. And we want to double click the home button, go back to our email, and we want to grab the next file by holding the link and copying. Double click the home button, go back to iSilo, touch up there in the address bar and paste and then in the bottom right in the keyboard area hit the done it should come up with that next file we'll choose download and put it in this and hit the save button same thing with this file now this is the new world translation the the first version the original version of the new world translation it's downloading that file and um, there were two versions of this file one is named with a little bit longer name and then there's this one the shorter name some brothers have created iSilo files that are linked to this one and other brothers have created iSilo files that are linked to the other longer named New World Translation and so you've got to have both files just in case you run across a document that is linked to the other one so that you don't get errors when you're trying to uh, use the file that you run across it's good to just get all the files that uh, have been used or referenced 
all at the start and then you don't have to worry about getting those error messages and such. Another key thing to keep in mind is all of these files we're downloading they all have to stay in the same folder together. You can't move them into individual folders because um, because they're linked. There's links from the document to other documents and so if it can't find those documents in the same folder it'll give you an error message. So all of the files have to stay in the same folder. That's why you saw the theocratic folder in the root of my iSilo. Is I made that folder and I put all of these type files. I move them from the download folder into that theocratic folder and I just keep everything all in that one folder. <clears throat> this uh, file should be getting close to being done. It's yeah. So again, I'm just going to touch somewhere on the background and that's going to get rid of that window so I don't have to leave this screen. In the address bar I'm going to touch up there and I'm going to hit the X to get rid of that link. Double click, go back to my um, email document. I'm going to get the bottom link by holding into that and hitting copy. Double click my home button again, go back to iSilo, hold my finger in the address bar and paste. Then click the done down there in the keyboard and again it's going to ask where we're going to put it in download and we're going to hit save now this is the other file I was talking about this is the original New World Translation but it's in a longer format what what it is is whoever converted this file they named it this particular name and then they created other documents that are linked to this file name and so if you don't have this particular file name those documents that the, the person created they won't be able to find this file and so that's why you gotta have them both I'm just gonna click in the background so that it doesn't make me leave this now finally if we click up there and the address bar and we hit the X and clear it double click and go back to our email we're gonna get the large file that big one up there um, it's about 170 meg, so it takes quite a bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, I mean I'm going to hold my finger on it and I'm going to copy that link, double click my home page, go back, I'm going to touch up there in the address bar and paste, and I'm going to hit done, and it's going to bring up where do I want to save that file. We're going to say downloads, and then we're going to hit uh, save. Now because this file is so big it's going to take quite a while to download so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just going to um, pause this video until this file is down uh, completely downloaded that way we can save uh, time having to sit here and watch this whole thing so I'll be back just as soon as this file is finished downloading okay friends so this file is just about done downloading here and again we don't want to open it even though it's our final so we're just gonna click somewhere on the on the background here so now we've finished downloading all the files in the top right corner we're gonna click done and we're back to our root where our folders are and I'm gonna go into that download folder and there's all of our our five files that we downloaded and you'll notice that very bottom one it's a little you know it's much bigger than the rest of them because that's the full library but that's our main file we want to to use and so I'm going to show you what the Watchtower library for iSilo looks like on your iPad so when you open that file it'll just open up a, a bunch of links so like we said this is really just an ebook file that has links to all of the publications that are here and so we can do things such as at the top if you click on the VOL link up there it'll bring up the bound volumes for the Watchtower and Awake you notice you've got uh, in this version we have the Watchtower 2013 all the way back to the Watchtower 1950 and in the Awake you have the Awake 2013 all the way back to 1970 so just like your Watchtower Library CD has um, you can choose any of those say for instance I choose Watchtower 59 I'll choose that W59 and it'll bring me up to options of which month I want to choose. Say I want to choose uh, 
of 5-1, so May 1st, and there's the articles that were contained in that. And of course, I can choose the first one if I wanted to. Uh, and there's the article. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the back arrow a couple of times to get back to our main directory. At the top, if I were to click on the KM, that's going to show you <clears throat> the Kingdom Ministries from 2013 back to 70. So say we choose KM08, and then we have the month, say we choose July, and there we have the parts that are in the KM, and of course we could open any of those up, and there's the article. So we're just going to go ahead and go back again to our main folder. So that's pretty much what all of those links are at the top. They're to the different uh, publications. You can figure it out by looking at the abbreviation, what they are. Below that, you'll notice the G-E-E-X-L-E. -E -E, that's the Bible books. In other words, that's the Bible there. So you can look up scriptures. So say we wanted to look up Psalms 83.18. Uh, we'll go up there to the P.S. link. And there's our chapters. So we're going to go down to 83. And then we want to choose 18. And there we go. May people know that you, whose name is Jehovah, you alone are the most high over all the earth. There we are. So it's the you can use, use the Bible right here as well. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main route. And I want to keep our video sh you know, short now. So that's really all I'm going to go into is how to install the WatchTower Library in iSilo format on your device using the built-in app iSilo or the application that you install called iSilo. And uh, look for other tutorials. Uh, I'll go into a greater detail of how to make folders and move files around in iSilo and some of my other tutorials. But I hope this tutorial has helped you. At the very bottom, you can click on that doc list to go back to the folder you were in. But to get to the root, you have to click that up arrow on the top left. And that takes you back to the root where we started off at. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this video out. I appreciate you watching this tutorial. You can also join us at meekspace.org if you want to uh, get other tech tips from other friends or if you've got some tech tips to give the friends. Uh, become a member at meekspace.org. It's free. Uh, you do have to answer a few questions there, but once you become a member, I'm sure you'll enjoy yourself there at meekspace.org. Thanks for watching our tutorial.